Welcome everybody. Got the add-on GIF maker and there is absolutely nothing on Blender Market like it. It has a module-based, Python-based system. It's not using the Blender system. It actually kind of hijacks the render and creates a GIF for you. It has certain recovery options, things that like an alpha channel render if you want to do PNGs. You want to do text overlays, you can use JPEGs, tons of options. We're going to go over everything right now. I'm going to show you some tips and tricks to use and some do's and don'ts. However, the add-on is super simple. As you can see right here, this is the entire add-on. There's nothing else to it. It's over here in the output render properties and is going to be super simple. Um, what it does behind the background though is extremely complex. It does all of the heavy lifting for you. You're just selecting your parameters like frames per second, whether you want the thing to loop, whether you want it to do a reverse, which is a super cool function because it's actually going to take the frames and run say 10 to whatever. Just say you have 10 frames, it's going to run those 10 frames. It's going to take those frames reverse them and attach them to the back. So you only have to do 50% of the work on that one. Uh, then you just name it. You can have text added or not, whatever you want to do. You can turn that on or off, but let's get right into it. This is going to be on Blender Market this week, and I'm really excited for this release. All right, guys, for the demo example, I will be installing this in Blender 4.1.1. This is design work from Blender 3.6 to 4.2. Now, all we have to do once you've installed the add-on is kind of expand it out. If you go to the output properties, you'll see the option here to install required modules it says open preferences. That's all it's going to do is just open a window at the mouse for you. And then you have all these buttons that are going to be blue. It does not matter which one you click on. It's going to do all of that installation for you, which I'm going to let you know would be a huge install. You would want to do all that, put the pillow install and everything else. Uh, so, just click any one of these as I kind of move the mouse over here like I would want to click on something it's going to kind of lock the screen in for just a few seconds until it installs everything and then all these buttons will turn red when that happens you'll no longer see that button you'll see the add-on so from here you can go ahead and close out the edit and preferences now for the next topic is gonna be, hey, I had a bad install, the add-on's not producing a GIF. Check the documentation where it's on the on Blender Market for the frequently asked questions. I'll have a link for that. If this happens to you and you get a bad install or it's just not making the GIFs, all you have to do is go in and uninstall this, okay? And when you do, this will all turn blue again. If it doesn't, or it's got some kind of weird hang up, you may need to open up, and this is gonna be super rare. I don't think anybody's gonna have to deal with this, but site packages under the Blender install file. So you would type in site packages, maybe in your search or something like that in the file folder. So you're like, pull up a new file browser and pull up the uh, C drive or whatever and do a search. And you can pull up site pack and just hit enter. This is for Windows. Uh, it would be pretty easy to find, I think. And so this is going to find anything that says site packages. All right, so this pulled up site packages. You can see it's Blender 4.1. That is the exact same folder here. Now in here, there'll be some different file names to um, look at. And I'll make sure this is in the frequently asked questions. But anything that says image, IO, this one, this one, you would delete those if you had an uninstall and it wasn't working. Or if you see anything that says pillow, you can delete that. If it says PIL, you can delete that. Any of those things that say that, or if it just says IL, those are the exact ones you get. So one more time, just go over anything that says image IO, you can delete those if you've already in uninstalled, but I don't have that issue right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the thing. And I didn't finish what I was saying. The image IO, PIL, pillow, or ILL. Anything that says those, you would delete. And like I said, it'll be in documentation. Super rare, you're gonna have to deal with that. Now let's pull up the demo thing here since I've done this troubleshooting. 
I'll hit render GIF, and this will now make a GIF file here. And did I have it on reverse? I didn't have it on reverse, so all I gotta do is click reverse, render GIF again. This is your workflow. You're just working with the last frame. It does not matter. So we'll get this thing. And I guess that stopped because I didn't have loop on. So yeah, let's do loop as well and render in the last frame again. This is just your workflow. You can beta test this way, super simple. And it's reloading that now. So now I'm gonna do this again. And this one should loop and not stop. So now you can see it's just going back and forth, back and forth, that's just 10 frames. Super cool. And this would be just one of those things you can do. And like I said in the uh, beginning, there's no add-on on the Blender Market just like this. So now let's continue on with some more tips and tricks on how to use this add-on in a very successful way. So we've got all the things set up here. File extensions turns on automatically with the add-on. I've got overwrite on, make sure these things are all on, but no big deal. All the settings and what's going to happen when this is done is the selected folder here for the GIF location. When this is done, it has a function behind the scenes. Upon render complete, it will pop up right here, which is good. And one, okay, so that's all done. Now this will pop up right here. And I'm glad there was a little error that happened. This was on me. This just said demo over here. It didn't, it didn't say anything else. That's not correct. It has to have a real directory like this says C temp. And so I went in and copied the directory location, so you just select here, grab where you want this to be, and then you can dump that nomenclature right there, and you don't have to render everything else out. 120 is what I'm gonna render. All right, that render looked good, and it dumped in. And a couple of things to note, it's kind of tricky sometimes when you're selecting folders, if you go in, perhaps, and you do select one of these and hit accept, it's gonna show that that is definitely not what you want. So I'll just control Z back. It should look something like this to be sensible. Now, if I come back over here to my folder, we now have a GIF file. So I'm gonna go ahead and double click on this bad boy and bring it over. And now you can see what we have. Here is the text that I wrote in, GIF maker add-on. And yeah, that looks pretty cool. So you can do different things with this. You can have it loop. You can have it reverse, a lot of different things. And another really important thing to do is if your text is not exactly the way you want it, you don't have to render over again. This, and let me pull this over, looks pretty good, but the size and the color wasn't necessarily what I wanted. So instead of worrying about that, and this will overwrite in the folder, I'm gonna go back over here, render out the last frame. I changed the color and I changed the font size from 50 to 35. So once I hit render again, go ahead and pull up this folder. This will render out. And right upon render completion, it's gonna change everything on every frame. Doesn't matter if it's a thousand frames or it's 10 frames. And you can see it's updating it right now. And it's recreating that GIF for me because the Blender Python, excuse me, the Blender's not doing the text. The Python and the add-on is doing the text. So now it's changed and you can see how quick I did that. And even if it's a thousand frames, it does not matter. So I'll bring this over here now and voila, I've changed the text just like that. There's not an add-on on the market that's going to do that anywhere. You can't do that natively in Blender. So this is a very powerful feature and it's gonna make your prototyping lightning fast. So I'm excited for that and we'll move on to the next thing. All right, now I'm going to take you guys over to my Discord just for the purposes of dropping the actual files in so you can kind of see. Uh, so I'll just run this one and we'll pump it in and in the meantime, while that's uploading, my connection's going insanely slow today. Saturday, you know, that's how it is. Uh, 
while that's going on, I want to see what I had this set. I did not have it set to loop, so now we're going to go to loop. And I want to render the last frame again. I'll change the name to demo2 because I don't want to lose the other file. And it's going to use all of those uh, render images in that folder. So you want to be cautious of that too. Keep that in mind. You, know, you can change folders where that's going to go. That would make a lot of sense anyways. You don't want to render a whole ton of things. But if you do, automatically it's going to combine all those dozens, hundreds, thousands, whatever you have. It's going to combine all those into like one little GIF movie. So you can kind of have little short films, whatever you want to make out of this. Um, this looks good. I only put loop on there. We'll do reverse next. This is pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and render out the last GIF. Uh, we'll bring up the file folder again. And we'll just watch the magic happen. Let's see, 8 out of 25 samples. It's going to take a minute. I've got some... I'm doing it in cycles. Okay, so that's good. It's creating the gift back here now. It's automatically doing it, and it should be ready in just a quick second. But this one's looping, so it's going to be a little bit different. Now let's see how this actually came out in the chat. Yeah, it looped and it cycled through, and it's done. And it only did one. Or it's going to do it again. Oh, that was a Discord feature. I had my mouse over. So yeah, the gift finished. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and drag and drop the loop in. And the loop should classically just keep going. And I just got to get the mouse off of that because it kind of triggers it while it's in the chat. Alright, so I got both of these inside of the chat now. And that seems good. We'll go ahead and play both of these. The top one should stop. And I don't know that... Discord's got some other things going on in the background. It's kind of annoying, actually, uh, because when I click play on my uh, screen recorder, it actually starts the GIFs. So that's not really a fair example, but I'm sure the top one will stop in just a moment. There it goes. It stopped, and the bottom one continues to play because it is a loop. Super cool. All right, guys. That's the end of the tutorial. I really appreciate you watching. I appreciate you supporting the channel and, of course, supporting us on Blender Market. This is a collaboration. It's a team, two people in a team, and any number of settings, different variations that you put in here, you will get different results. You can put your text anywhere you want. You can rename the text. You can not have the text at all and close this and kind of minimize and, and make the add-on just a little bit smaller. Have reverse on or not, loop, combo. Uh, you can do a loop without it reversing. That's actually pretty cool. That's the usual way a GIF goes. So and then you can change your compression, how this is going to look. Uh, you can use PNGs, JPEGs, cool things. Uh, I can, there's no way I can cover every variation in this because I think that would be a very long tutorial. But feel free to play it with this and come up with some cool stuff. I'll drop it on my Discord. I'll put a link in the comments and I know these links even though I put don't expire for discord they expire for some reason so grab that link if uh, if you want to jump into the discord and there'll be add-ons there'll be share your work different things you can come in and, and share the gifts that you made and uh, it's a pretty cool small it's a small community I think we got like 20 30 people here and then in our actual um, add-on creation discord there's several hundred people you know, we all collaborate and try to um, make really good add-ons for everybody in the market. Some free, some not. Uh, but other than that, I appreciate you guys watching.